I'm going to focus on an area where a lot of learners seem to be struggling and that is how to write enough words on the NEBOSH open book exam. Now the exam you need to be looking at a minimum of 3,000 words but from a lot of the submissions that I've been looking at a lot of people are turning in exams with you know less than 2,000 words uh, on the paper which to be quite honest with you, you you stand very little chance of doing well with such a light word count so you need to be writing at least 3,000 words in order to get the points so here are three tips that hopefully will help you to write enough on the uh, exam to get the points that you need the first tip is what and why and it's particularly useful for questions that uh, begin with uh, what so for example one one example i pulled out from a pre previous paper is based on the scenario only what management failures could have contributed to this accident so obviously it's based on a scenario that involves an accident and that's the task what i recommend doing here is start with two columns in the left hand column go through the scenario and pull out snippets of information so obviously you're looking for management failures so just go through the scenario look for those management failures put them in the left hand column these snippets can begin as copy and pastes for now but you'll have to remember to rephrase them in your own words before submitting your paper and you'll probably need to go through the scenario more than once to make sure that you haven't missed anything and it's important to stay on task so for example if in the left hand column you're putting failures made by workers that's not going to do you any good at all because the task is asking for management failures not failures by workers so remember to stay on task and similarly to having to read the scenario more than once you'll probably need to read and reread the question more than once to make sure that you're on task but in order to develop your answer um, use the right hand column to put down for each of the snippets that you've got for each piece of information that you've got explain why that's there why is that a management failure uh, and this is going to allow you to write in a way that demonstrates your knowledge uh, and your ability to apply that knowledge to the scenario but if you're still struggling with this type of question the second tip might be useful read research write repeat so the, the idea is with this one is you might have a 20 point question and if you do the maths the correct word count really for a 20 point question is around 600 words but let's say you can only come up with half of that you've written down only 300 words and you're racking your brains now you can't you can't write any more it's simply not there what do you do in that sort of scenario well you simply plug the knowledge gaps that are there by hitting the course materials textbook textbooks online resources etc so this is the read research part of this technique what you need to bear in mind is all of this reading and researching is going to eat up it's going to eat into your valuable time you know 20, you've got 24 hours which might sound like a lot but uh, hopefully you're going to be sleeping at least eight of those and you and you're not going to be spending 100 percent of the remaining time only on the uh, exam you know real life will will get in the way at some point so you don't want to be spending too much time on the reading and researching so you've got to have a system in place that allows you to find the information that you need extremely quickly being very familiar with the syllabus is a good way to begin you know putting that system together so once you've done your reading and your research you come back to your paper where it's only got 300 words and hopefully now you can write a few more words are you at 600 yet okay well if you are great it's worked if not repeat do the same thing again 
back to the reading and researching, then come back to your paper, try again. Are you at 600 words now? If you're still not, leave it for now. Take a break. Persisting with it at this point is probably not going to do you any good. Take a break and then move on because if you're managing your time effectively, and we've got other videos that explain how to do that on exam day, you'll be able to come back to it later. Um, maybe some in inspiration will strike in the meantime and you'll be able to extend your answer. But uh, there's no point flogging a dead horse. If it's not working, take a break, come back to it later. That's if you've tried twice with this read, research, write and repeat technique. Try it twice. If it's still not working, take a break, come back to it. The third tip is particularly useful for questions that ask you to comment on. These questions can be quite tricky because uh, they seem very open-ended. So an example would be, based on the scenario only, comment on the company's approach to assessing health and safety risks. So an approach that I think works quite well in this sort of situation is to use uh, positive and negative attributes. So again, get two columns to help you structure this. Uh, and in the left hand column, you're going to list all of your positives. And in the right hand column, you're going to list all of your negatives. So based on this question, which is asking you to comment on the company's approach to assessing health and safety risks. What you might put in as a positive thing is it might be that there is information in the scenario that confirms to you that the company has got in place an internal audit system that includes auditing of the effectiveness of the risk assessment process. So that would be a good positive thing. A negative thing could be that the company doesn't respond effectively to risks identified by the workforce during changes to normal operations, for example. If you want to expand on any of those points, use tip one to explain the, the why or the how. So that's three tips for you. That It's important to remember though that there's no one technique or methodology that you're going to be able to apply to every type of question that you're going to have to deal with in the open book exam. So it's very important that you've got uh, multiple techniques in your repertoire that will enable you to select the most appropriate one for different types of questions. This video has provided you with three, but check out our other videos for even more. Remember that you will need to practice applying these techniques well in advance of exam day. I hope you've got some value out of the video that you've just seen. If so, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to the channel so that you can be alerted to when we produce and upload more videos.